Rhino Buck, South Africa's first retail unboxings. Hey, what's up guys? Jason here for Techno Buck Unboxings. And today I'm bringing you the review of this. It's the Moto 360. The Moto 360 has been out for a while, but I was recently lucky enough to get the chance to get my hands on one. And even though this device has been out for some time now, it's still extremely exciting and one that's arguably one of the better Android Wear devices. So I thought it's time I give you guys a quick look what's in the box, what I'm enjoying about it, what I'm not enjoying about it, and just a little quick rundown of the Moto 360. When you open the box, the first thing you'll be greeted with is this. You get uh, this little sponge pillow on top to protect it, and then you get the Moto 360 itself. Now as I mentioned, it's still one of the best looking Android Wear devices in my opinion with its round style uh, screen as well as its leather strap and just comes all nicely packaged. When you open the packaging itself you pop out this container here, you'll get your sync charge cable over there, some instructional manuals and then you get this. This is actually its wireless charge station. Simply plug in your micro USB cable into the back and uh, you'll notice when you do that that it uses Qi style charge or charging. There's actually a NFC style charge pad and the watch simply docks in here as I'll show you just now and acts as a very nice bedside clock to charge the device. Let's have a look at the device itself. When you take the device off its little pillow here you'll notice that the device itself comes with this lovely 1.56 inch display and it's a round display which is one of the nice uh, touches of the Moto 360. On top of that it comes on this strap. Now this is not uh, unlike uh, certain of the other watches this strap is actually made of hawin leather which is actually very very nice and comfortable. Now I've gone for the grey edition which comes with the silver accents. At the side and port which you can speak into and on the back here you just get your Motorola, it says it's IP67 certified so it can handle water and dust resistance and even going up to a meter of water for up to 30 minutes. It uh, just gives you a little bit of the spec here, telling you the standard steel is 316L which is a high grade of steel and on top of that you only really get one button on the device, that's this, your power button on the side. Holding that in We'll begin the power up phase, I've got a little vibration. You get that Motorola logo on the display and you'll see that the little ring around the screen starts to spin. This is the loading up procedure. The Moto 360 features 4 gigs of internal memory, a 1.56 inch display as well as a 400 milliamp hour battery. This is enough to give the device power for a full day and that's with heavy usage. Although the Moto 360 has been out for a while, running its latest software 5.1.1, you can use the watch anywhere within your Wi-Fi zone, even out of range of your telephone. And that's a very, very nice feature as it means you can still get your notifications on the go and use it for a lot of its other nice functionality. The downside to the Moto 360 is that it doesn't have a GPS chip. So if you go for a run, you still need your phone anywhere within the 10 meter range, so it can still be paired and use the phone's GPS. Overall, although the Moto 360 has been out for a while, it's still a gorgeous looking device. It's very, very nice on the arm, and I just love the host of functionality and the customizations that you can do with it. I just find as an everyday uh, daily driver of a watch, it's really, really cool to use, and I like how you can change the faces to match your every style. From me, Jason of Technobock Unboxings, this has been a quick look at the Moto360. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers for now. Technobock.